Science. Europe's largest floating solar farm is ready to switch on. Built on a reservoir, the Queen Elizabeth II near Heathrow Airport in Britain, the solar array is to supply energy to a water treatment plant. The sort of public facility that places a huge and often little recognised drain on electricity. The farm's the size of eight football pitches and is expected to generate 5.8 million kilowatt hours of electricity per year. Solar energy doesn't generate as a flat base load, it generates when the sun's out, so the, the, de uh, the demand of our water treatment works doesn't uh, go to zero at night, so we have to pump water at night, for example, so you could never get all, all the water treatment demand from a, from a solar installation. So we're, it's part of an overall strategy of, of multiple elements. Each of the more than 23,000 panels is mounted onto an airfield float. These are joined together to make rafts. Divers fixed 177 anchors to the bottom of the reservoir and cables carry the power ashore and onto the treatment centre a few kilometres away. Maintenance costs will be lower as the panels are more efficient on water because it's cooler. Solar electricity and, and the panels and the wires work most efficiently whenever they are cool. And one of the big advantages of having these floating on the, the reservoir is that you, you cool the wires and you cool the panels, which actually make, means that the solar plant itself is actually more efficient and produces more electricity than it would where it sat out in, in the middle of a field. The solar array will not connect to the national grid, but after testing is complete, it will be attached to the private electrical grid at the water plant, where it's expected to provide 20% of the plant's electricity needs.